Cindy Pertill is here from the uh, Rose of Trilly. How are you? I'm good, and how are you? I'm so excellent. It's been, uh, well, well, I don't know how long since you and I have had a chat. Yeah. But uh, you're getting close to... Uh, Naming the, the next rose, hey? Yes, yeah, next Saturday, May the 2nd. Wow. Um, at one thirty for cocktails, 2 o'clock for the selection. Um, we're at the BAS Hall on Harvey Road here in St. John's. This really has grown. I remember the first year we did this uh, at the Delta. Yes. And uh, it really seems to be, pardon the pun, but blossoming into something really big. Yeah, we are. We're, we're really growing, and uh, I'm really happy about that, actually, because it's been a dream of mine to get this rock in here in the, in, on the rock, and, uh, and it's, it's, it's a really important celebration um, to recognize the heritage of, uh, of our people, and uh, this organization in Ireland does that for the global Irish. It unites the global Irish. Mm-hmm. And, of course, at the BIS, what better spot? Oh, absolutely, the absolutely. Event. They've been so great in coming on board to, uh, to help us out with a lot of number of, number of sponsors we've had this year um, that have come on board. The Ireland Funds, Avis Car Rentals at St. Uh, John's Airport. Um, we have Hillview Terrace Suites at VOCM, of course. Mm-hmm. Uh, Levis West Productions, um, Artisan Streetscapes, um, Client Works. Uh, I want to make sure I'm not forgetting anybody. <laughs> uh, oh, and Chatter Salon, they've just come on board. They're going to come and do all the girls' hair and makeup for us on the morning of the gala. Um, and we've got some really great in-kind sponsors that have come on for donation of prizes for um, the gala itself. Now, I've, I was host first year. Yes. As you remember. But, yes. but Greg Smith kind of stepped in and yeah. took over and booted me out. He's, yeah. He's hosting again this year. Yeah, right? Greg is, uh, is coming, board, uh, coming back to help us out again this year. And uh, we were all at Shamrock City last night for a fundraiser. And Greg came on out and came on out and, and, uh, and helped us out there as well. It was great. All right. We have uh, several of the uh, Rose, I guess, uh, Roses in studio with us. Mm-hmm. We have Anna and Reagan who are wearing the headsets at the moment. How are you ladies doing? I'm fantastic, Eden. How are you? I'm fantastic. So, Reagan, I'm going to start with you, since how you uh, spoke up first. Uh, tell me a little bit about your Irish Irish heritage, because you, you do have to have Irish heritage to be a part of this competition, right? Yeah, that's correct. So, I'm lucky enough to be blessed with both Aboriginal and uh, Irish heritage. So, on my father's mother's side, her family was the Hurley family, and they came from Munster in County Cork, Ireland. Oh, okay. So, my whole life, I've really been... Um, been able to really absorb myself and my Aboriginal heritage living in Labrador. So I'm really excited to have this opportunity to learn a lot more about my Irish heritage and express that. Yeah, I was going to ask, was the Irish heritage something you were always aware of, or did you have to do a little bit of research to find out more about it? One of my great aunts, actually, so my grandmother's sister recently started digging into our family heritage, and it was through that we um, realized that we were actually Irish. But my grandmother always remembers her grandmother telling her that her great-grandmother was Irish or something like that. So it was always word of mouth in the family, but it was never proven until this year. Well, sounds like uh, a good bit of research. Anna, how about you? Uh, How did you uh, come to learn about the competition? Um, I came to learn about the competition through Erica Halfyard, who is the current Rose who traveled to Trilly um, for the last two years. Okay. And I actually went to school with Erica, and I think so highly of Erica. She is so well-spoken and so charismatic, and when she had mentioned the competition to me, I was honored to even be thought of by her. So when I really looked into the competition and found out about the morals and the values that are really taking place, I because was so excited, I just had to participate. <laughs> Trying to get a picture of everybody in the control room from here, uh, just to show, so I can tweet it out of everybody who's here. Um, so, Cindy, it's it really has grown. And how many roses this year? I know we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Is this everybody this year? No, actually, we have seven roses. The okay. one who's not with us this morning is Nicole Neary, uh, and Nicole is taking part in the sci-fi content, uh, convention that's happening here in town right. today. Okay. <laughs> Good for her. So she's off doing that today. Um, but Nicole is returning rose she participated in 2013 as well so uh, so she's come back into the fold again this year um but you know, we started it with three the first year that we did this and we grew to seven the next year mm-hmm. and in actual fact we had about 10 girls up until a couple of weeks ago moving forward but we've had um, a couple of them have to with had to withdraw due to time constraints okay um just recently this week we had a really great kid who was participating and i don't mean to be uh um, degrading and saying kid, but she's younger than me. So, um, <laughs> so I love yeah. a young, I love a young girl um, who had to, to step back because 
the Legislative Assembly came back. The House went in early, and she's a junior parliamentarian with oh, the right. House. So she had to step back because her timing. You're talking uh, about Raylene. Yeah, Raylene. Yeah, Raylene. That's right. Yeah, yeah, Raylene McKee. So we're really happy to have her on board as well. Um, but Raylene's going to come in again next year. We have two girls already lined up for next year as well. Um, one is Bridget Abbott, who's the current Miss Newfoundland. Okay. So Bridget has great Irish heritage, and this really speaks to her as well. So she's uh, she's going to come out and participate in the event. Um, and, yeah, we have a great group of ladies this year. What I am really, really happy about is most of these girls come knowing their Irish heritage. Mm-hmm. We have the largest amount of Irish heritage in this province, outside of Ireland itself, in the world. Wow. And most of us, as Newfoundlanders, who have Irish heritage... Um, are able to speak to it. So they know, most of them know the song, they know the history of their families, um, and they may have to do a little bit of digging to be precise with the counties that they come from. But, I mean, Anna's a Murphy, you know, yeah. and the Neary's are here, and we have um, Holly's a Lock. And, you know, we all, I'm, I'm a Whalen. That's my maiden name mm-hmm. is Whalen, and I'm married to an Irish Pertill. So, you know, we all know that our needs are Irish, and so most of us are able to pinpoint um, where our Irish heritage has um, started from. And so, I mean, uh, Jennifer being a McKee, that is a Northern Irish name, and she can directly relate that to Scotland as well, because Scotland and Ireland, a lot of Northern Ireland and Northern Scotland um, enmesh, and they go back and forth between them. So there's such a huge, rich um, heritage in not only our our names, um, but also in our culture. Right. You know? Anybody here been to Ireland before? No? Yeah, Jennifer. Jennifer there. has. Jennifer puts up a big smile. You're hoping to go back. Definitely hoping to go back. Everybody's hoping to go uh, at some point. So they will. One person will be selected next Saturday. When is the trip to Ireland? Uh, we actually leave May the 27th. Oh, so it's really quick. Yeah, it's very, very quick. So we go May the 27th for the regional. We're in Port Leash, County Leash, uh, along with 62, not 16, but 62 other centers from throughout the world this wow. year, um, such as Dubai and Abu Dhabi, um, Southern California, um, Arizona, um, New Zealand, Adelaide, uh, Australia, Luxembourg, Germany, and uh, all kinds of places in, in London, England. And we have a Scotland Rose this year. Um, so there's, there's international exposure. These ladies will come, or this, this particular lady um, who's chosen this year will come home with 62 international friends. Wow. That'll fill up your Facebook real quick. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> so how do we get in? How do, if I want to come see this next Saturday, can I get a ticket? Yeah. You just by uh, um, contacting info at rose of, sorry, info at newfoundlandroseoftrilly.ca is our email address. Right. Or you can just visit the website, newfoundlandroseoftrilly.ca. Or by calling 1-855-503-0303. Tickets are limited. We don't have a lot of spots. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we'd love to have the, the public come on out and participate and, uh, and cheer on our girls. Should be a pleasure for sure. And uh, Greg Smith will have lots of stories to tell me next week. Thanks a lot for coming in. No worries. Thanks for having us. It's 1118. And that's the folks from the Rose of Tralee next Saturday at the BIS. Uh, one of these ladies will be crowned and taking a trip to Ireland. That's exciting, hey?